Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we are going to be talking about what exactly is survival mode in succulents. Now, the word itself is self-explanatory. When we say survival mode, it means that something is trying to survive itself from certain conditions. Now, this is very common among everyone, uh, be it plants, be it animals, be it humans as well. Uh, example let's say that uh, someone is trying to punch on your stomach or a head the first instance is to protect yourself you might try to cover yourself probably with the help of a hand or probably with the help of your elbow you'll try to protect yourself same thing goes in animals and in insects you might have seen a melipid when you tend to attack a melipid it immediately starts to curl up in order to protect itself even for that matter if you take an example of armadillo you might have seen it tends to turn into a ball and this is something called as a defense mechanism wherein the particular thing that is being attacked or if the thing or animal or insect or anyone that tends to feel that it's in danger it tends to curl up or tends to protect itself now the most important part in our succulents is the crown area as we all know because that's where all the growth starts and here as you can see the succulent is completely closed into a ball trying to protect the most important part of the succulent and that's the crown area now there are a couple of reasons the succulent will get into the survival mode we are going to be talking about that the first instance is related with dehydration now let's say now for example this succulent was recently moved into this spot because the soil was compact uh, it was not letting the roots absorb water because the soil became very compact around the root area due to which the succulent started to get dehydrated now because the succulent does not want to lose any more water it wants to save up on the energy it started to curl up inwards closing the most important part of the succulent which is the crown area and getting into the survival mode now eventually when the roots will start to rejuvenate back again uh, and the roots will start to function of absorbing the water the succulent will slowly start to open up so this succulent was probably uh, reported two days back so i have to wait another day before i go ahead and water it and once i'm going to water it it will definitely open up again i will keep you updated when that happens here is another case as well you can see the succulent is completely closed inwards again the same issue uh, it was dehydrated because i had forgotten to water this pot i did a watering yesterday it's going to take a while for it to open up because it was completely closed and now it is slowly opening up and now it is getting out of the survival mode so these are the two examples of uh, survival mode uh, this is related with dehydration so for the first point that the succulent will get into survival mode is when it is getting dehydrated again now dehydration there are three reasons one you have forgotten to water the succulent it gets into the survival mode secondly if the soil is very compact and the roots are not able to absorb the water it will get into the survival mode by closing inwards like this and the third is if there is any damage to the roots let's say that there is a root mealy bug uh, the roots are affected with root mealies or if uh, the roots have rotted or if the roots are dried or if the, there is some damage to the roots the succulent is not able to absorb the water it is getting dehydrated it will again get into the survival mode like this so that this is the first instance wherein the succulent tends to go or this is the first example wherein the succulent tends to go into the survival mode by closing the leaves inward now there is another reason as well wherein the succulent will start closing inwards for that i'm going to put the picture on the screen before i show you the actual succulent so over here this is the succulent uh, you can see both of them are completely closed they have immense amount of color on them uh, now this color is the color produced by anthocyanins now anthocyanins is basically a protective blanket for succulents in order to protect itself from the harmful uv rays now this happens when there is excess heat now this is happening because the succulent is out in direct sunlight and the temperature is getting really warm sunlight is very harsh it is very strong due to which the succulent cannot bear that heat it immediately starts putting out those colors the anthocyanins basically these are more on the red purple uh, burgundy 
so it tends to put out these really bright colors so that it can protect itself from that strong sunlight so in this way the succulent is showing you signs that it is getting into its survival mode now if you're going to look at the appearance of the succulent you can see the succulent is completely closed it is getting into its survival mode at the same time it's putting out the colors in order to protect itself from the harsh sunlight now after this what i did is i moved both the succulents in indirect bright light the moment i shifted it to indirect bright light you can see these are both the same succulents and you can see the amount of transformation the succulent is slowly coming out of its survival mode how do we identify that you can see the leaves are now open the leaves are more open right now the colors are starting to reduce because it no longer requires the protective blanket of those bright colors because the sunlight is not strong anymore now the succulent is going to slowly start opening up here is another one again you can see the succulent is slowly starting to open up which means that it is coming out of its survival mode it feels that it is now safe it feels it's not going to get damaged anymore so it's going to slowly start opening up and the crown area will be visible Now, apart from these two conditions wherein the succulent tends to go into the survival mode there is another pointer wherein the succulent tends to go into its survival mode and that is during the dormancy period now during the dormancy period the succulent will get into its survival mode but there is nothing to be worried because that is pretty natural the succulent will start closing slowly inwards not completely as you can see in the pictures over here these both varieties of succulent are dormant because this was during the summers we have uh, graptovaria bashful and we have graptovaria olivia both of these succulents were dormant you can see they have put out those bright colors in order to protect itself from the harsh summer light apart from that you can see the crown area is slightly closed inwards to protect the crown area but the overall succulent is not completely closed it is still in its uh, survival mode because the succulent is dormant so it's very important for you to know which succulent is dormant and which succulent is in its growing period now these succulents all of them are from the echeveria family or echeveria genus right now it's summers they are supposed to be in their growing period so obviously they are not supposed to look like this this is the reason why it's very important that you should identify at least the genus of the succulent now i know that all the four of these succulents are from the genus of echeveria which means that they are in their growing period and this is not how it's supposed to look like so it's very important that if you do not know the exact id at least you should know the genus to which that particular succulent belongs to because you will be able to understand whether the succulent is dormant or not at times the succulents might look like this as well during the dormancy it's absolutely fine that is how they naturally protect themselves but during the growing period if they tend to look like this it's not a very good sign for your succulent now coming to the point is survival mode a good thing or a bad thing now it is a good thing for you because the succulent is giving you signs that it is not happy with the surrounding with the light with the watering there is something that is missing there is something that you are missing it is giving you a sign it is a good thing for you to recognize that as a succulent parent but it is absolutely bad for the succulent because if the succulent is going to stay like this for another month or so the succulent will start dropping the leaves it will have a dry rot if you are from a very warm and humid environment if the succulent stays like this for another month the succulent will die of rot or the leaves will start to fall or it will completely turn brown in color so it's extremely important that as soon as the succulents tend to show you the sign of survival mode it's important that you take action probably the watering is not correct probably there is too much of harsh sunlight or probably there is some problem with the soil so you need to identify that and start working on that once the succulent is happy trust me as you can see over here 
just within 24 hours the succulent started to open up here the only issue was that i was exposing it to a little bit of harsh sunlight because now the temperatures are changing i'm starting to shift a lot of my succulents in a much cooler and indirect bright light kind of a uh, environment so now that i have moved them they are coming out of their survival mode now this succulent is showing me a sign that it is happy it is recovering and this is a good sign so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating